What's up guys, Friday afternoon and we are loading up. Now today's episode of loading up is gonna be a very, very relaxed episode of loading up because as you can see, I'm really comfortable. I've been lying in here for about 10 minutes while the boys have been getting uh, set up for this shoot. I'm gonna to talk to you today about my Darchi swag. Now, the Darchi swag, this one here, this particular swag that I'm lying in right now, I've had now going into the third season of Patriot Games. Uh, I'll be honest and say I've replaced one of these poles. I broke one of them. But I am so impressed with the quality of the Darchi gear. Um, it's not even funny. Now, swags ain't swags. The first thing uh, to take into consideration uh, when you're buying a swag or any tent sort of product is the reputation of that manufacturer. Canvas ain't canvas. And I know a little bit, of cam a little bit about canvas now, obviously, through the, uh, the R&D process and where we've evolved with um, Patriot Campers. The canvas on the Darchi swags, I mean, you, can, you know when you feel it straight away, you can feel the quality of canvas. Uh, and maybe that's just something that I'm really used to now, but it's a 420 GSM canvas, but it's not, it's not what everybody thinks. It's not all about the weight of the canvas. The things, the two things that you really got to consider with canvas, uh, one of them is the waterproofing. So how they proof that canvas and uh, keep it water repellent for obvious reasons. You don't get wet inside your swag. But I think more importantly, the most important thing when it comes to canvas is how does that canvas breathe? Now, if you've been there before and you've bought one of those really cheap tents or really cheap swags, and you've woken up in the middle of the night, even though it's not raining, uh, with condensation inside your swag or inside your tent, I'll tell you right now, that will destroy uh, your trip. We've been in the situations where we've had the Darchi, we've had cheap rooftop uh, tents, we've had the Patriots with us. You'll have good quality products like this that will breathe and allow all of that moisture and, and condensation to escape from your swag. Uh, and to me, I think that's the most important thing when it comes to canvas. Uh, ripstop material is, um, is not exactly what everybody thinks ripstop is. Ripstop will still rip. You can tear ripstop canvas. But what the rip uh, stop does, if you can see in here these big squares, if you do get like a, a little punch hole in your canvas and you start tearing on it, when it hits these lines here, um, this cross weave in here, it'll slow down the tear. So it doesn't mean that you can't actually tear straight through it. There are a couple of things to look out for. Uh, high quality zips and high quality fly screens. And again, we've been through the whole thing with uh, different manufacturers. The other consideration that you've got to make is the floor that goes inside of your swag. Um, this is a HF uh, welded. PVC, so they weld these with high frequency, which ensures that the seams, uh, you get no leak in the seams. Stitching PVC uh, is actually not a good idea, uh, but the quality of the stitching is, is a big, uh, big consideration to make as well. It all comes down to the thread that they use inside the stitching. Uh, the good threads will swell inside the holes. If you can imagine a needle going through canvas, goes brrr, punches a thousand holes down the seam. What, once those uh, threads get wet, and this is what seasoning canvas is all about, you allow those threads to swell, you allow them to expand inside the hole, then they contract, swell, and you do that two or three times, and that's what seasoning your canvas is all about. And that'll ensure that during the manufacturing process, any of those oversized holes for the stitching, um, they'll fill up. So that's just a little bit of background about canvas, and, and like I said, we're, we're understanding canvas a little bit better as, um, as Patriot Campers. Uh, evolves, but the quality of the Darchi product is really kind of, in my opinion, it's, um, it's, it's amazing for the price point that they bring these things in for. Um, let's talk about advantages of a swag. Why we use a swag um, compared to, you know, a rooftop tent or, or any other sort of style of tents. The big thing for me with the swag is, as you can see here, it's all there, you know, your bed's all there. You've got one roll, you unzip it out of the bag, roll your swag out, mattress is there, sheets are already there, uh, your blanket's there and your pillow's inside, you're ready to go. When it comes to traveling with kids or if you're accommodating a large crew, in my opinion, this is the only way to go. If you can imagine when you go uh, with a tent, camping in a tent, you take your tent along with you, you take some sort of uh, mattress or a, um, a stretcher along with you, then you've got sheets, then you've got sleeping bags, then you've got pillows. When you bundle all that stuff together and you put it in a pile and you're trying to accommodate three or four or five kids or the in-laws or whoever you're taking away camping with you, you end up with a mountain of gear and majority of the time you've got to store that somewhere where it's protected from you know, dust and weather and all the rest of it, which would be inside your car or inside your trailer. With your swags, what you see how we roll on Patriot Games, 
Me and the twins are always in swags. Um, so we've got three swags up on the roof. You'll notice the Arnhem Land trip. Uh, we've got all the swags up on the roof. Our camera guys live out of swags. And I can quite easily on the top of the Mega 6 or the black truck with the twin uh, platforms, I can fit up to six swags. So accommodating everything that six people need to sleep straight up on the roof of the vehicle. Now being that they're canvas and obviously the protection of the bag, you can strap them down. It doesn't matter what happens during the day. The big mud recovery that we went through uh, in the Mega 6, you know, uh, mud flying everywhere and, you know, diesel you know, pumping out of those stacks and covering the bags. The bags are hammered, but you get to camp at night, take them out of the bag, and, and there's your nice clean swag. All right, so inside the swag, uh, I'll get rid of this stuff. Uh, Darts your sleeping bag, really good bit of gear. Uh, I'll get that sheet out so I can show you the inflatable mattress. But let's talk about the swag first. In every corner of the swag, you see they got these uh, pockets, which are really handy. Uh, your mobile phones, car keys, all the rest of it, the stuff that you get lost inside your swag. Um, here's a hot tip, every time you get out of your swag, double, triple check it um, for stuff that you might have left inside because I cannot count the amount of times that I've heard a phone ringing up on the roof or somebody talking on the CB radio. And oh, where's that coming from? Well, that's in someone's swag packed up on the roof. So there's a little tip for you. You've got tons of ventilation. You've got 360 uh, degrees of ventilation all the way around. A really fine mesh uh, for midgy proofing. So obviously, if you're in um, if you're in areas where bugs are not an issue, typically speaking, I would leave all of this rolled up. You've got little hooks and loops here uh, to roll everything up. Then you've got ventilation at the front and the back of the swag. They've got little awnings um, in the front of the back of the swag as well. So they've got little guy ropes there. You can put a peg in the ground. If it's raining, um, you need to keep these canvas flaps down, um, and you can peg out either side. So you still get ventilation coming all the way through. I'll quickly show you the inflatable mattress. Um, Self-inflating mattress does exactly what it implies, self-inflating. You've got two little valves at the end. Uh, if I undo those valves, when I've, you don't have to wait for it to go down or anything like that, it will absorb air and it'll constantly want to inflate itself. The longer you, that you leave the valves open when you set your swag up, the harder the mattress will get. Uh, I'm not sure what the total time limit is for it to get to its full firmness, but generally speaking, I'll pull my swag out and just unroll it and leave the valves open for sort of half an hour um, before I jump into bed. But, you know, there's been times where I've just rolled it out, closed the valves off and gone into bed and it's, it's obviously been fine as well. That's something that you should consider. It doesn't come with the swag. Uh, you buy that as an option uh, from Darchi to suit whatever style um, swag that you're, you're looking at buying. Um, if we come up the top, I'll just show you through the, um, the canvas doors. Um, again, everything's really high quality, but you can see, I mean, you can even start seeing here, you know, the marks that I've got on the swag and there's a couple of little burn holes from, um, from campfires, not holes, sorry, they're just burn marks on there um, from campfires and whatnot. But if I zip that up, you kind of get an idea of the side. Uh, you've got a couple of little clips just up on top here. This pole is self-adjusting as well. So you can tension that, the swag out um, as much as you like. And basically, uh, I think everybody knows how to set up a swag, so we're not gonna go through the whole swag setup thing. It's the quickest thing that you can possibly set up uh, for any sort of sleeping arrangement. It's literally two hoops in the end, put the spreader bar in, roll the canvas door up, and jump into bed. All right, guys, so there's a bit of a run through my Dust to Dawn 900 swag. The obvious 900 is 900 mil wide. I'll find that that's big enough. Check out the Darchi range. You notice on Patriot Games, uh, the twins sometimes run a, uh, a Dirty D 1400 wide, which is the double swag. Uh, they've gone a bit past that now, the past couple of trips that we've been doing uh, this year. The boys are now in Dust to Dawns as well on their own. Darchi range of swags. Make sure you check them out. Uh, for more information, go to darchi.com.au. Friday afternoon, I'm going to finish loading up and I'm out of here.